Hello, uh, I am Mahesh Anand. I am the President, the Creative Division for Nippon Paint India Private Limited. And I also hold the position of co-chair, uh, IGBC Chennai Chapter, Indian Green Building Council Chennai Chapter. And uh, I am very glad to be part of this session of uh, BW Sustainability event, which has been happening in Mumbai. Yep. Thank you, sir. So the first question for you is, sustainability often involves community engagement. Could you share examples of successful projects that have efficiently involved local communities in sustainable initiatives? Yeah, I can talk about the paint industry as such. And uh, uh, when you talk about the industry as such, uh, we have uh, stakeholders right from uh, specifiers, dealers, customers. But the most important uh, community or the stakeholder whom we, we think are the painters. You know, they are very, very vulnerable and they belong to the strata of the most vulnerable uh, community, unorganized and they are unskilled. So, all the paint companies today are working on this community to give them training, give them education and give them knowledge on, on how to paint and what to paint and what all the, 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 the bad omens of, uh, you know, uh, very strong odor having paints and which is in a way, uh, we, are, we are advocating them to use green paints, which also helps sustainability in a big way. So working in the community, by the paint companies is a great example and uh, my company Nippon Paint also works with the women painters. You know, we also uh, train women painters from the uh, socially, economically backward classes where they, they can depend on themselves and we give them training on painting and we certify them and then we have a complete ecosystem wherein we train them, certify them, take jobs for them, give jobs for them and we also have the dealer community which extends a small soft credit for them so that they get their jobs done in this process. So in a way, I think that's, that's what we are doing it and more to come in the, in, the, in the years. And we are also trying to move this painters from a manual painter to a mechanized painter. And uh, which means that instead of using a brush and roller, he will be using spray machines so that uh, uh, his work can be uh, complete faster and he can get more jobs and have a better, uh, you know, uh, salary, uh, better pay. And because of that, his lively, uh, the, the standard of living also improves. Yep. Right. So the next question is, given the urgency of climate change, what steps do you recommend for individuals, businesses and governments to accelerate their efforts in reducing carbon emissions and adapting to a changing climate? I would say it's already uh, too late for us. It's, it's now or never. So I think as a responsible consumer, you know, there are products which are available in the market which are more sustainable and which have uh, emitted less carbon while manufacturing and emits less carbon after application also or after while usage also and but as a as a responsible consumer as a consumer which i mean responsible consumer i say that you know you should always look at planet uh, how can you contribute to the planet also so the choices you need to make uh, when you go to buy any product try to make it the green product you bring it home and use it so that's that's what it is and uh, the media houses plays a vital role in this here communicate educating this to the consumers that uh, the, the sustainable products are available and maybe you might be paying a bit more today, but once you start buying more, uh, more people start buying, the costs will come down and, 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 and it, it, is, it will be very, very useful for the future generations also to use this planet because there's only one planet here. Yeah. Right. So the next question is, 